All right, hello everyone. My name is Luis Hermanto Soropesa. I'm currently a senior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. But enough about me. Let's get into this. Alrighty. So today we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing the distance sensor. The, personally, the distance sensor is my all-time favorite sensor. So let's get into this. So we're gonna do go to distance is equal to distance sensor, and then this is gonna be um it's gonna be I think it's A. So, but however, we can set up our actual motor. So, we're gonna call it legs, then motor pair, and then C, then D. I believe it's D. Yeah. D. Okay. And then. Okay. So, now we have that set up. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna actually. So, with distance sensor, you could do a lot of stuff. You could read the data in centimeters or in inches. So that's pretty much all it does. The distance sensor doesn't get much more complicated like that. However, not many people know, but this sensor actually has LEDs around the eyes, as you guys can see right here. So you could actually light those up. We're actually, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to do that. But for right now, I'm just gonna show you guys the distance sensor just in a bit. Though I'll show you guys the light afterwards at the very end. So first, we're gonna go with. Mm, so first, so as you guys know, this returns values. So we're gonna do with value is equal to distance sensor dot get underscore distance underscore inches so i'm gonna call it in inches because so, i want the data to return back in inches so now it's so like okay what are we gonna do with that well first before that we're gonna do a while statement because i want this i want this to run forever and just so you guys can see that it works. So now I'm gonna go with legs dot move uh, move, and then we're gonna do three seconds. Okay, and then so this is just gonna do. Oh, but however, it's like okay, what are we gonna actually use? So the value that we're catching, we're actually gonna use that for the speed. Speed is equal to value. So now if I play it, it should technically by default it should be going really fast. So as you can see, it's going at hundred percent speed. However, when I put in my my hand right here, uh, it should be going really, really slow. So you can see it's kinda like it's kinda hard to show you guys because my finger but if I put it all, it goes at zero. Because this is zero, but if I as soon as I let it go, more up, uh, I should go. As you guys see, it moves really, really slow. It's just hard to hold the center and kind of like show you guys the distance, but nevertheless, it works. And then, however, if you guys don't want to do inches, you guys could actually do centimeters as well. So, you guys could do underscore centimeters, and that will actually return the data in centimeters. So, but let's suppose you're like, okay, I only wanted to do it based on a certain length. So, for example, uh, let's get that back. Okay, and then so it's gonna be if if value um, is let's say less than twenty. Okay, so if it's less than twenty, I want the motors to go, and then. That should be it. So first, what it's gonna do is gonna catch the value in centimeters. Actually, I don't want centimeters, I want inches. So first, it's gonna catch it in inches, and then it's gonna be like, hey, is the value is in the distance. So is it less than 20, yes or no? And if it is, it's gonna, it's gonna run the motors. If not, it's not. So for example, by default, it's, the motor should not be moving. So as you guys see, it's not moving. Oh, what happened? Um. I think I forgot something. Um, if value is less than 20, value distance is not compiling. Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, so so the reason what is what this is doing, so it's gonna be like, hey, is the value less than 20, yes or no, it's gonna continue. If not, it doesn't, it just goes on. So for example, if I hold it, So if I hold it right here, and then it starts, as you guys see, 
It does go. Oh, I know why it's not working. So, we still we're still reading in the valley from here. When we don't we don't need that anymore. That was just a test. So as you guys see, it doesn't move. Huh? This is so weird. A value. Just why is it not working? So as you see, it does go. And then, because the distance less than twenty, then if I let it go, shouldn't do anything. So you see, simple as that. Doesn't really get more much more complicated than that. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what was going on with the robot in the beginning. It was kind of really really funky. But as you guys see, you guys could get the distance and it would go. But however, you guys are like, okay, I don't really like conditionals. I don't really like like any of this. So you guys could actually even get rid of the true. Well, true. So you guys could do um distance dot wait. No, it's not wait until it's wait for underscore distance to be I think it's thing farther okay so it's farther than and then I believe so let's suppose we do 20 Mm, we're gonna do centimeters. So what this is gonna do, so it's gonna wait until the distance is further than 20 centimeters. If that's not true, it's just gonna keep on waiting, waiting. And then once it's true, it's gonna go to the next line. So it's like exactly like the if statement, except now it's gonna wait for it. So now we just have a function that does that. So, so now it goes because distance is actually 20. But however, let's suppose now I'm gonna start the program but now it's actually gonna start at zero. So it's, it shouldn't run. So as you can see, it's not doing anything. It's just staying still. But as soon as I let go, now the distance is greater than 20. So as you guys saw, very cool. So, so for the distance, like that's all you can do. Oh, as well. So you could get on wait until further than, or you could get less, I think closer than. So you could do, for example, it's closer than 20 centimeters. So if it's 20 or greater, it's going to be false and it's not going to do it. But once it's, it reaches a really close distance, it's going to go. For example, I'm going to start it right now. The robot should move. So let's go. So it's just going. And then obviously it's going to stop. So now I'm putting it on top. The distance should be greater than 20. So the robot should not move at all. So you can see it's not moving. But... So as I put my hand, it moves. Very cool. So that's that's another function as well. You could get the percentage. So for example, you're like, okay, what distance? What distance percentage? I don't. I'm not really actually very 100% sure on what um on what scale it goes to to the 100%. We could actually check that right here. So let me show you guys a very very useful resource. So we go to distance, um, distance sensor. And then we could go to um, get distance percentage. So you guys see right here, it returns a boolean. So it's true or false. So it's either short range or long range. So you guys can't really use this, for example. You're like, okay, I want it to go based on the distance and be like, hey, like on, on the distance percentage, it's just like, is it true? Is it false? By default, it's false. So, but once you get close to it, it's going to turn into a true. So that's pretty much but however the really cool thing that i wanted to show you guys about the distance sensor is that you could do distance mm, what was this light underscore up underscore all so that's the name of the function so what this is going to do as you guys can see right now none of the eyes are turned on it's turned off no lights nothing but however let's let's do it as you guys can see, it turns all of them on. So this technically has an LED on the top, an LED on the bottom, LED on the top, an LED on the bottom. So it's technically four. But however, you're like, okay, I want it to look much cooler than that. You could actually do this. So you could do light up. And then you could actually do, for example, zero, which means 
zero means it's off then 100 means 100 percent brightness and then we're going to zero let's let's see what combo this actually gives us because we don't really know right so let's test it out so now it's going to run so this combination actually only turned on the left eye so i don't know if you guys can see it's kind of hard to show the light but it has both of them on meaning that the right eye is currently turned off so now let's actually do the opposite so now let's turn this one on and then obviously you guys could just mess with it i'm just i'm just trying to show you guys that it does different things depending where you select it but so as you guys see now only the top ones turn on so as you guys the placement matters so these two these two right here control the top ones while these two control the bottom light so left right le left top right top left left bottom and right bottom so for example i could do i could actually even do this one at 50. actually let's do this one zero and then let's do this one at 100. so it could so it's not the same so as you guys can see now this one's turned on this one's turned off this one's turned on this one's turned off very cool so th th that's just another little nifty trick that as well as just the commands that I showed you guys it's pretty much a distance sensor it doesn't really get much more complicated than that if you want to you could do obviously way more complicated like have functions just plug in like like have variables calling functions just do a lot of complicated stuff to it but that's that's just the general gist of the simple functions that you could call but yeah that's pretty much it i really hope this video was useful and i hope that you guys learned something and don't forget to like and look at the resources in the description visit the github and everything but thank you for watching